Hey folks, this is Shock. I wanted to share some good news with you. Uh, us Christians were able to unbrainwash two atheists. Uh, two of them. Last night in the conference room, check this out. The atheist came in and I was discussing with them how Christopher Hitchens fumbled and bumbled and stumbled and lost the debate with Dr. William Lane Craig. Now, first of all, if you want to see that debate, Click right below here, go to shockhunnow.net, and on the left side you'll see all the videos, and you're going to see the video, Does God Exist? That's the debate where Christopher Hitchens actually stalls in the debate, and he fraudulently pretends his microphone's loose, and the crowd starts laughing at him because they know he's stalling. So you got to see that. Click right below here when this video's over, and then go to shotgunnow.net and then you'll see the video there does God exist in my video section that's the entire debate between Dr. William Lane Craig and Christopher Hitchens where Christopher Hitchens gets destroyed in that debate let's unfog this uh, visor now here's what happened last night last night also if you go to that same website below here you'll see that it says enter chat room you could also get your own free chat room there if you want but it says enter chat room and we get a lot of atheists come into the room and I was explaining to them how Christopher Hitchens lost the debate and they agreed Christopher Hitchens did lose the debate to the wiser Christian theist and um, I'm trying to unfog my visor here and what happened is I said you know atheists contradict themselves therefore atheism contradicts itself and the, the atheist, the sweet, cuddly atheist in their fantasy world deny that atheists contradict themselves when it comes to the existence of God, the most important thing. So I started challenging these atheists and I said, does the claim it's possible for God to exist contradict the claim it's impossible for God to exist? No matter who's making the claim, does that, do those two claims contradict each other? At which point, both of the atheists <laughs> said no. Hold on, I gotta get in front of this guy. I think he's going pretty fast. Not as fast as I would. Okay, so both of the atheists said no. That the claims do not contradict. I go, oh my gosh, this is why you're atheist. You don't have critical thinking skills. This is something a 12-year-old child would understand. Now, there were other people in the room, and I asked them. They weren't atheists. I said, do you agree that the claim it's possible for God to exist contradicts the claim that it's impossible for God to exist? And the rational people said yes. So, finally, I, I was trying to reason with this atheist to unbrainwash them because atheists are brainwashed. They are totally brainwashed. And um, I said, look, once you are willing to try to live a fantasy world of atheism and you're able to convince yourself that all this universe just pops into existence out of nothing, exquisitely fine-tuned, but no, God didn't do it in your opinion. Once you're able to convince yourself of that, you'll buy into any crap whatsoever and of course you'll buy into the crap of atheism. I mean I have to be honest the most Christian thing I could say about atheism is it's a bunch of crap. But do not lose heart rational people of the world. I unbrainwashed not one but two atheists last night. So then I'm reasoning with them. I'm on look you guys stick with me here. Does the claim it's possible for God to exist, contradict the claim, it's impossible. They still denied it. <laughs> and I was shocked. I go, I can't believe how, how irrational atheists think. So finally, I'm telling the atheists, look, let's say you and I are atheists, because both of them were atheists, both of the atheists claimed it's possible for God to exist. I said, let's say you got a room full of 666 atheists, a house full, let's say, of 666 atheists. 
333 atheists say it's possible for God to exist, 333 say it's impossible, are they contradicting each other? Finally! And thank God in heaven, thank you Lord for giving me patience last night. The atheist, one of them, said, oh you're right! He said I was right! Yes, hallelujah! The atheist gets unbrainwashed by the crap of atheism that has ruined his life and his brain. And he says to me, right there for everyone to hear, you guys were here, go below, you could hear stuff like this live in the chat room. He goes, oh, he says, you're right, Shock, I was having a, a brain fart, he says. He said he was having a brain fart. Well, that's all atheism is, is one huge brain fart. Hey, look at this uh, hybrid vehicle. This is supposed to be the one, I know I'm getting sidetracked, but this is supposed to be the one uh, that gets the best gas mileage. Okay, so we're going to get in the left lane here, pick up some speed. So the atheist admitted he was having a brain fart, which of course he's an atheist. That's all atheists do is that brain fart. And um, <laughs> he admitted that the claims clearly contradict each other. I then said to him, look, look my buckaroo. I said, in that house full of 666 atheists, there's 333 saying it's possible for God to exist, 333 saying it's impossible. That means that some of those atheists in reality are wrong. God either exists or he doesn't. And, the, and atheism is contradicting it, itself. I said, do you represent atheism? They said, yes. If you're an atheist, you represent atheism. You're part of atheism. You are atheism. Therefore, atheism contradicts itself. Now they said, well, Shock, what about Christians, uh, Catholics, and Protestants? I said, look, they worship God different, but all of them admit that God exists. And they go, oh, I see your point. Yeah, you see my point? No contradiction. But when it comes to God, atheists are very confused. Now, I got the atheist to admit that Matt Dillahunty with the Atheist Experience Show is wrong. Dead wrong. The atheist said, anyone that says it's impossible for God to exist is arrogant and stupid. That's what they said. Well, that's what Matt Dillahunty said <laughs> with the Atheist Experience Show. So I said, you guys just admitted that Matt Dillahunty is arrogant and stupid. Now, one of them admitted already that he had a brain fart, and yes, atheism does contradict itself. The other one then said, okay, yes, I concede. And he followed suit and he admitted that atheism does contradict itself. Folks, it was awesome. Hallelujah. It feels great to unbrainwash two atheists that have been brainwashed by the bizarre idiocy of atheism. Look, try this with your atheist friends because you know, friends don't let friends stay atheists. We gotta save their brain. Next thing you know, they'll be obsessively talking about leprechauns, Santa Claus, unicorns, and spaghetti monster. We don't want that. So, um, next thing you know, they'll be buying the whole season of Glee on DVD. We don't want that. Next thing you know, they'll be obsessively buying CDs of Clay Aiken's music. We don't want that. We want to help these atheists remain rational. So, the way you do it is you get them out of atheism. You get them back to Christianity, and they could remain rational human beings. So here's what you do. Let me give you, let Uncle Shock, let Uncle Shock give you some advice. Try this right now with your atheist friend. First of all, ask them if it's possible or impossible for God to exist. It can't be bold, so they're going to say most likely possible, because even they realize atheism is full of crap. Once they say it's possible for God to exist, say, well, you would admit that there's also atheists that say it's impossible for God to exist, right? They'll say, yeah. And then say, you got 666 atheists in a house. If they say, well, it's got to be a big house, say, okay, they're all midget atheists, whatever. 666 atheists in a house. Let's say 333 of those atheists say it's possible for God to exist, and 333 say it's impossible 
Then you ask your atheist friend this, who's right and who's wrong? Because they all can't be right. They all can't be right. You see what happens there? Atheism contradicts itself. Now Christianity clearly says God exists. It clearly says it. But atheism claims God exists, or it's possible for God to exist, and it's impossible for God to exist, which are two contradictory claims. It's so full of it. <laughs> it's so full of it. Now, last night, we got the atheist to admit it. Look at this guy walking down the freeway. What the heck? Oh, look at it. Nice car. It looks like it's stalled. 